Hi hi campers and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Tuesday the 8th of March 2022 with me Govinda Dean. Thanks for joining me today. I've got my tarot deck ready. I'm using the Star Spinner Tarot today. So let's see what messages these cards have for you today. And also let's see what's going on today and how you can use the energy to your advantage. Okay, let's get these shuffled and we'll have a look for you. Okay, so what do we need to know? for today, Tuesday, the 8th of March, 2022. Okay, here we go. One more shuffle, and we're done. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, split the deck. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands. Seven of Cups. We've got the Nine of Pentacles and one below. We've got the Three of Coins. Okay, so it does seem then that we are in a mode of wanting to release our stresses and any problems and also to recognize how much work we're giving ourselves how much of a burden or many responsibilities we may be giving ourselves today so are we really taking too much on are we burdening ourselves with a lot of work or is someone else in our career or home life giving us too much to do and we feel, a, a, you know, quite overwhelmed um, with all of that. And so it's an energy about wanting to release, wanting to get things done. And, you know, kind of if they're projects or things that we need to do or tasks at work, get them done and lifted off our shoulders and out the way. There's a lot of releasing energy that, that that's around us today to, in a way, an achievement. So a way to you know, let things go as well and to reduce down our workload because it may, it may be feeling quite overwhelming at the moment, whatever we're doing, if it's not at work or just a home life or because it's the, the one suit could be our, our things that we are um, doing in a creative way. We seem like we're, we've got a lot going on at the moment that we just need to release and let go. Also, it's a reminder of maybe we can delegate. Maybe there are things that we don't necessarily need to concern ourselves with that we can hand off to other people. And what's important with delegation is when we do actually hand something over to someone, we actually then don't think about it, don't consider ourselves with it and trust that that person is going to deal with it. And we, because what's the point in handing someone a job to do or task to do if we're still then concerning ourselves with it to the point where we may as well have done it ourselves right so as long as we are intending to let go of things and release things and maybe it is maybe that and um, that message is coming through for us today that we might be concerning ourselves with too many things putting a lot of you know, energy, spiritual energy, passionate energy in, in a lot of things right now. And maybe we do need to dumb it down a bit. Maybe we do need to simpl simplify what we're doing because there's a lot going on and things in this picture look quite tangled. And, you know, it's, it seems that we've taken a lot on board, maybe more than we can handle. Maybe we thought that we could achieve everything or get everything done or take on the jobs that our bosses have asked us to do. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I can do it. Be a yes, a yes person um, in the, the workplace. And we're probably realizing now, oh, what have I done? I really piled it on myself here, you know. Um, and we get the seven of cups, which is really saying that, you know, that maybe here we're trying to find find um, focus in what we're doing. So it seems like we're, our energy is deployed in many different things and emotionally we're not necessarily focused. 
we're not necessarily maybe we're not making the right choices today you know by how we feel about things so we're just kind of getting involved in anything and everything and maybe there are some things that we could make better choices of and decide you know what no i don't need to do that task i don't need to do that thing um or just by the projects that or tasks that you set yourself to do during the day it's like saying no i don't need to do all of that at once or right now i can stagger things out over the week perhaps so we're getting this energy with the seven here that you know our focus isn't really on point today and our energy really does need to be more be more focused um so we can set better intentions um so that the energy of feeling overwhelmed isn't so because we're setting better intentions for what we want to achieve and where we want to go and making better choices for ourselves it seems that we probably end up in this situation today with this overwhelming overbearing heavy energy because we haven't made the best choices for ourselves um and also getting the nine of coins uh coming up as well which is you know saying that we we do like to be independent we do like to be self-sufficient which is why we're in this track today of doing everything ourselves getting everything done um we support ourselves um in this in this way so it's also looking at that that can be our strength isn't it you know that if we are our own supporter and we are independent um and we are um making sure that we build up our career, we build up our finances, our own stability. Um, we are committed to who we are and what we're doing. Then that gives us strength to get through today. So, yeah, probably we do need to get things done and dusted and ticked off the list and removed off the list. And I think there's a lot of strength and independent energy today to be able to do that. And also have the strength and the commitment and the stature, you know, the kind of I am my own boss. If you are self-employed, I am my own person to choices that are made are down to me. Um, if I have these overwhelming tasks or too many things on my plate, it's down to me. So it's, it's a reminder him that. Even if you're not self-employed and you do work in an organisation, um, it seems that these things that are happening now in our lives right now or the, are because of maybe bad choices we made and they are down to us. So in that way, it's not about blaming ourselves and saying, oh, I'm at fault for my own disaster. It's not really a disaster, is it? It's just a lot going on. In the same way then we are responsible for, for removing them, for getting jobs done, um, rather than being at the mercy of anyone else waiting on other people to do things for us. It seems that we have an independent energy to resolve and break through and get these jobs done. Maybe we've been waiting for other people um, to do jobs for us uh, at home, in the garden, or at work. Um, we've been waiting on something to happen and that's probably part of the bad choice that we've maybe delegated something in a and made a bad choice and now we're having to independently grab hold of it and sort it out um, seems to be coming through and the three of pentacles in the shadow does correlate with this you know in the fact that normally this would talk about you know teamwork and people harmoniously working together wanting to accomplish the same thing because it's in the shadow it seems that teamwork isn't necessarily working well um today that you know within the team people might be um there may be a bad team player um, someone who's not doing pulling their weight not doing enough 
So that really does explain very much about the main reading here, that if someone's not pulling their weight in the team or causing problems within the team to make it not function properly, um, this could be in in your relationship, right? You might feel at home in your relationship that you're, you've got too much on your own shoulders. The weight of your relationship is on you. Whether it's successful or not is down to you and your choices because the other person might not be a team player. The other person might be taking a very passive um, or maybe focused on them themselves to the point where you're having to do everything, making all the choices. And also when you're under such stress, remember this card does relate to a lot of stress. We're making bad choices and we might be better off um, and I say this with a lot of love and a lot of heart, we might be better off having more independence. We might be better off thinking, am I am I rightly matched with a person who's not being a good team player in this relationship, who's not pulling their weight? Um, maybe that's a thing as well. And also at work, you know, if the if someone in the team's not working out or not playing doing well, it, we do have that managerial independent energy to get it on with ourselves. And so we end up getting on with it ourselves, getting everything done because we are committed and we want the gains for us. You know, we want the monetary gains that can be had or the, the job security, um, keep maintaining the security that we've built up. We don't want that. You know, it seems like these other people who are not necessarily good team players are probably quite immature, probably not very well experienced in this in the field of work that you're in. And so they're kind of letting you they're kind of letting you do everything. And because you have that independent energy, you are taking a lot on and probably making some bad choices along the way. So we've got to be a bit careful with that. So really, yeah, we do need to try and see, you know, teams aren't necessarily going to work today or harmoniously today. And also in relationships as well, isn't it? Some maybe someone's not pulling their weight in the relationship. Not saying that you necessarily have to leave anyone. It's not about necessarily walking away from a relationship, but just kind of easing off the stresses and burdens. Be have be more of an independent thinker to see if they can step up to the plate, perhaps, you know, by thinking, well, I'm not going to do everything because I'm a mug if I do everything. Um, it applies to all, all aspects of life, I suppose. Um, because I'm being so stressed, I'm not making the best choices for our relationship or for our home or for our family. Um, it's too much for one person to handle, perhaps. So may, maybe think a bit more about yourself and your goals for a minute today, you know, rather than everyone else and trying to do everything and be everywhere and sort everyone out. Maybe it's time to just focus on, yep, dare I say it, be, be a bit, be a bit selfish, you know, um, and try to be more independent and not dependent on others, perhaps, you know, maybe we do everything ourselves because we're, you know, holding a relationship together that may not be working right now. Something to to consider um, for today, at least. Um, so I hope you've... Um, found this reading interesting and that the message has resonated with you in some way. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, then please uh, check out the links in the description below where you can book your own private reading with me for a video reading or email reading. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and as I always say, Please let me know your comments because I love to hear back as to what messages resonate with you and why and how these apply to your life. Um, I'm all about generating conversations, so please get in touch. And also, please sh share this video with anyone in your community or social media if you feel that the messages today could benefit someone that you might know. Um, that would be amazing. You can watch more videos like this by clicking the link at the end of the video on screen. I do daily tarot readings. I do the weekly tarot readings and special tarot readings as and when they pop up. So it's worth tuning in for those. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of the day. 
and I'll see you all again in the next video. Namaste and blessed be.